Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash 4. This time I'm going to take you through the inverted version of Off Balance, which is probably the longest stage in this whole world. Alright, there is a box under this TNT, so you can spin that if you like. The good news about the stage is that you do not need to do the hidden path that had the hidden gem from the original stage. But the bad news is, is that the hidden gem in this version of the stage is really nasty. It is possible to get without dying, and I will exemplify that for you, but you're probably going to die while trying to get it, unless you're just, for some reason like me, doing all of these deathless because you're crazy. Okay, so come on over here. You want to jump onto this lily pad, and then do a sliding double jump, and then spin to break those boxes. Otherwise, the uh, plant will get them for you, and you'll lose them. There's a box tucked into this corner here. As of this checkpoint, you should have 36 crates. You can slide under these to trigger the TNT, and then just wait them out. And then you're going to do a quick crouching double jump into a body slam to safely break those boxes. Door is going to open up over here. Four boxes inside, along with a bunch of bump of fruit, so grab all that. Okay, we should have 46 crates. And then you might have some flashbacks to Slippery Climb, or whatever that other level in Crash 1 was, the uh, secret one, or the bonus one. Okay, so grab your first Aku Mask, grab a Kano, and then immediately activate, because lamps are going to start spitting at you. So once those are down, you can relax for a minute. Once the statues in the distance start breathing, you can head on over. Quickly get off that platform over here. I'm going to bounce on this five times. And then break these boxes, and then head on over. Great. All right, so once you're over here and you're comfortable, I recommend not sliding towards the sort of direction you're normally going, because you can actually get stopped by the boxes. All right, so once you're reaching the bonus platform, you should have 60 or 63, depending on if you broke those three boxes right there. This bonus is really interesting. You gotta move pretty quick through it. Um, some folks on my other video said that you can do it a little bit differently and a little bit safely, but this is the method that I like. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. So you wanna slowly break these boxes here. This way you hit the final TNT as you're ending it. And then just walk forward gravity or something or just the layout of the platforms will cause you to hit those TNTs even though you're just walking. From here you want to wait for the nitro to bounce and then just do a standing double jump over and then you can break these two crates, hit the nitro switch before getting onto the platform and that's all 27 crates. So after the bonus you should have 90 crates and then be very close to your second Wumpa Fruit gem. Right, so we're going to grab a Kano and then we're going to make our way over here. There's a box tucked up here, be sure to grab that. And then there's one more right here. Okay, just move on forward. Get these, get this box on the collapsing platform. Jump and spin the ghost. We're gonna hit the next checkpoint for 96. Do a long jump over these nitro, and then you wanna ride this wind tunnel up. Again, you can ignore that hidden gem path from the original version of the stage. You don't need it. It just has nitro crates. All right, so don't forget to go back over to the left, grab these three crates, and then you wanna do another long double jump over here. Stop Akano before he lands, because there's a TNT there with a 1-up tucked inside. And just do the same thing, backtracking to the exit. Alright, so we're going to get this 1-up in this checkpoint. And the hidden gem is coming up here. It's underneath one of the planks of this bridge. So we're just going to burn some Aku masks and kill these dragons. It's just much, much easier to do it that way. It's right there, as you can see it. I'm not doing this cleanly. I'm really just trying to exemplify that this is doable. So this is going to be very dirty, uh, you know, killing these dragons and whatnot. But you want to line yourself up with this platform here. And then as soon as you start dropping, you want to drop for a couple frames and then jump back up. And you'll be close enough to the gem that you get it, but then you can jump back up to safety. The reason I recommend doing that sort of backwards where you're walking back towards the beginning of the bridge is because when you're doing that, the bridge is sloping back down rather than sloping up if you're trying to move forward. That makes jumping back to safety much easier and much safer and much more likely that you're actually gonna succeed. So it's a dirty hidden gem. You don't have to do these runs deathless. You could just drop and die and get the gem, no big deal. But I always try to do these things deathless and I can report that this is the only stage in the game, or sorry, there's only one stage in the game, which is the inverted version of building bridges where getting the hidden gem along with all the boxes in a deathless run is not possible. And that's the reason I tried to do all these deathless. And I know I'm going on about this a long time, but the reason I was trying to do all these levels deathless is because when I got to building bridges 
And, you know, that hidden gem was not, you know, obtainable in a fully deathless run getting all the boxes. I thought to myself, if this is the only stage where this is the case, I'm going to be kind of mad. Because the rules for getting, you know, the insanely perfect relic are getting all the boxes, never dying. But you don't have to get the hidden gem. And it feels weird that that is the one level that enforces that rule. It's very strange. Anyway, once you make your way over here, we have to do some phasing and break in some boxes. So you want to phase, jump, jump, and then phase out the nitro. There is a hidden box up here. You can do a crouching double jump to get it. You can see it up there. Just crouch, double jump, and then spin at the top of your jump, and you'll get it. Wait for this sort of tiki torch to be all the way over, and you can make your way over. Okay, there's a box tucked up here as well. Okay, so there is an Aku mask over on this platform, so we're gonna go grab that. And then you really just wanna wait out the cycles of these three tiki torches, or dragon stack torches, whatever they are. Totem poles, I guess they're called. But just wait out the phase until you feel that this is safe to cross. Because if you're like me, you've only got this one mask. And, you know, these platforms can be tough. Again, don't be afraid to just drop onto the platform to land faster if you feel like you're really cutting it close. But once you make your way over here, hit the nitro switch, grab the final gem, and that is it. That is the uh, hardest level of this entire world. Now we can move on to Mosquito Marsh. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new videos go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll see Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.